Dark mode has become a standard feature on websites today. So here's a simple way to implement a toggle in your React Next.js app with SAS. First, let's create a new Next.js app with MPX Create Next app. The add latest part makes sure that we are using the latest version of Next.js. This will pop up several prompts and you can see my selection right now. You can name the project wherever you want. I just named it Theme Toggle. The only two important things for this tutorial are to select No for Tailwind CSS, since we'll be using SAS for sign, and Yes for App Router, since that's what I'll be using and Next.js officially recommends it. We also need to install SAS, but before we do this, CD to your project in your terminal and then install SAS. I'm also going to install here icons for the icons on the button. However, feel free to use any icon libraries you prefer. All the dependencies are installed. Now it's time to set up SAS. Go to the app folder and change globus.css to scss, and then change it in the layout.js file too. Now it's time to create a simple toggle button in page.js. First, delete all the boilerplate code. We use useClient to tell Next.js that we want to use the client-side version of React. This is because we want to use React hooks. Import useState and also the icons if you're using hero icons. Create a new state called isDarkMode. Then we create a toggle theme function where we set the opposite of the current isDarkMode value by using the exclamation mark. This line will add or remove the class dark in the root element of the document, which we can later style in our scss file. For the HTML part, we're going to keep it simple. You can use any class name you want. The area label is important for accessibility and for screen readers. For the class name, we just call it toggle button, which we haven't created yet. The onclick attribute will be set to the toggle function we created earlier. This snippet tells us that if dark mode is true, show a moon, if not, a sun. At this point, the basic backbone is complete. As you can see, it's ugly, so let's add some styling to the globus.scss file. I'm going to start with a simple color palette, so I can reference them in the file later. The dot root is where the magic happens. It's where the toggle theme function will toggle the document's theme. Next, let's create the theme toggle button class to style the button itself. It has some basic styling, so nothing complicated. The dot icon class will target the SVG icon inside the button tag. The rest of the styling is not important for the functionality of the button. And to keep the tutorial short, you can just copy the code and pause the video if you want. It just basically wraps our button in a container and adds some styling to it. With that, the toggle is complete and you can now toggle the theme in your app. But this solution has some issues. What if we want to access the theme somewhere else in the app for another component? With the current solution, we would need to pass the state through every component and components outside the component tree would not be able to access the state. A better solution would be to extract the state into your own React context that wraps around the entire app so the theme state is shared across components and can be accessed anywhere. This approach is more scalable and also more maintainable. To start, create a new folder at the root project folder. I'm going to call it context. And inside it, create a new file and name it themecontext.js. Again, we need to use useClient to use hooks. Then import create context, use context, and use state from React. To use a context, we need to create one first. That's where we use create context, which I will name theme context. To provide the data from the context to the child components, we need to create a provider, which I will call theme provider. Inside the theme provider, we just move the state and the toggle function from our page.js file into the provider. Finally, we return the provider with the value we want to share in our app. I will also create a custom hook to use the data from the context. You don't have to create a custom hook, but this makes the code a little bit cleaner because every time a child component wants to access the data, it can just use our custom hook. The last step is to wrap our theme provider around the app in the layout.js file. First, we need to import it. Then we just wrap the children with our context. Now we can use our custom use theme hook to access the theme state and toggle function. Let's do this for the toggle button in page.js. We just need to import the use theme hook and extract the is dark mode state and the toggle theme function and replace it in our file. With the context, every other component can also access the theme state and react when the theme is toggled. Let's try this with a simple card component. 
First, let's create a new components folder. And inside it, let's create a cart.js component. Inside the file, import our custom use theme hook and create a simple cart component. We only need the is dark mode from our custom hook. Inside class name, we can also use a conditional operator to apply the correct class based on the current theme. That's how you would apply the theme changes for every single component. Let's also move the toggle button to its own component. Now we can simply import the cart and theme toggle button components in our page.js file. Finally, we just need to add some styling for the cart component on the globus.scss file. Add the light and dark classes to style for each theme. When we toggle the theme now, the cart component will also change its theme accordingly. This is because the cart component is using our custom used theme hook to access the theme state and react concurrently when the theme is toggled. And that's it for this tutorial. A simple but scalable way to implement a dark mode switch in your app. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.